Um, we're about to install our final piston in the 6V92 and just wanted to show you how we do this. Uh, pretty simple process but there's a few things that you really have to keep an eye on. Like I said in the previous video, part one is the tang right here has to be put towards the inside. If you do not do that properly, uh, tang towards blower, then you put your cap on the way it's supposed to go underneath your rod cap your um, crank will eventually your pit, your engine will lock up when you're trying to rotate it and put your next piston in because it's hitting uh, backwards so very important make sure that's done uh, believe me, we know that by trial and error before hey right, joe yes sir so um i keep all the pistons marked one l um for uh one left right uh left bank and um right behind you well then we have our rod caps here so you make sure that very important that your rod caps you have the right number with the um there it is one l so we got this was marked one l right there so and then um the piston also uh marked one l also so we confirm that this rod cap goes with that piston. It must be turned in the correct position or they will not uh, rotate properly and hang up on the uh, piston right next to it. So, uh, anyhow, uh, what I like to do is, you know, some people say don't do this. Some people do. I put a little, just a little film of slick lube on here because sometimes it's just really hard to get these to slide in. You got to shake them back and forth and, and, uh, at the very end, you've got to end up tapping them in with a block of wood or something like that. So, anyways, this is the last piston install. As you can see, we've already put these in right here. Um, so we're going to do our pistons next, and we're going to put our our, night, our final hole in right here. So make sure that's rotated, that cranks on, up on the uh, top dead center position, right in the center. So when that uh, piston uh, comes to you and you you it's going to be in the uploaded position if you bought pistons that are already loaded if not you take it to a mechanic or if you got a loader if you're lucky to have one of those tools um, that's that pistons always going to be in the top position so you want your crank in the top position so you don't want this flopping around the further down it is the more it flops around and you may miss your crank when you're going down and you'll get it into a bind and um, That'd be a bad thing. Possibly bend this, or you can break your edges of your um, of your liner when you're trying to come around on your um, in front of your harmonic balancer. So, okay, I'm gonna place this over here and make sure again. Make sure you double check your tang to make sure that it is in the proper position. So here it is. Here, when we flip it over, it's gonna end up being facing me which towards the blower so that'll be the proper position and when you go down make sure that you know try and get these best lined up this way uh, as you can you don't want to go in and crooked um, and that's it okay Joe go ahead and put the piston in Alrighty. the lovely room of working on a boat this one right here we was able to crank up we built a makeshift uh, lift system here two three ton jack so joe confirmed that he's got that tang is uh going to be facing towards the blower which is where i'm at you got your seals in there it's very important not to hit your seals with your you got it straight your bolts yeah come on down with it right. tilt it up on the crank on the liner there you go hold that all right you see it in there it's all right, looks twist forward just a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right, bring her on down, Joe. Shake her in place. Takes a lot of shaking to go in. She's going slowly but surely. Tight fit. There you go, Joe. That's a tight one, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, some of these, uh, 
Yeah, she's going down a little bit of time. She's moving. She's going. There she goes. Nice tight fit. There she is. She's getting there. Yeah, it's not oh, easy. Yeah. Okay, Joe, we're going to um, tap this down with the block. There's a hammer here. Get into a position where you can tap on it. There's a block. So I'm just going to seat that down there. Don't get it in. It's just a tight fit. Down there? Okay. Sure. Alright, as you can see, she's seated below the lip of the block there, so and your head gasket will go in there and uh, that's it. So we got the air cooler off of this one because we decided to do everything. This here's a charter boat, so season's coming up. And uh, I want to make sure everything is hundred percent um good on here, so Anyhow, um, that's it. Pretty easy on the installation. Just you know, take your time. Um, it, it, it's better if you have one guy with you where he can rotate the engine as you're coming down and coming around. Because as next thing we're going to do is I'm going to push down on the piston while Joe here rotates the engine to where we can get that crank to go down in the bottom position. And then um, we can put the rod cap on. And uh, it just helps if you have two people doing that. Um, again, one person pushing on the piston or tapping on the piston as the uh, crank comes around. Because if you don't do that, um, the crank will move and the piston will not. So you'll lose your, your rod to be hanging in there. And it's a nightmare to, to uh, get them back in. So make sure um, you, you follow the crank around. So. That's it. Stay tuned for more videos. We're going to be doing the uh, heads and uh, uh, blower and cooler install next, and then we'll do uh, show you how to do the the turbos and all that. Thank you.